you and Kaz, you had your little program. And um, I guess what happened with the uh, ACL? He tore, I guess it was the street fight. And he tore his ACL. And what was your reaction to that injury when it was happening? Because you went on Twitter, I guess, uh, I guess the next night, and you, you kind of buried him. I buried him on text, in person, on Twitter. And I think that the most important thing that we take out of this is that in life, you just never know what somebody else is going through. You don't, you can't put yourself in somebody else's situation, whether that be physically or mentally, right? because you don't know how they react to things or what's going on. And in my mind at that time, because when you I wanted your... to see Casco be US champ or be intercontinental champ. Right. And I knew I was going to 205 Live. And I knew what I was about to do, get the title. And it would have made the most sense in the world in business to cross paths again for us. I saw the opportunity to finish a match. This is how fucked up pro wrestling is. This is how fucked up it is. It is a masculine driven business where Vince McMahon will never ask you to do something that he wouldn't Correct. do. Thing is, he pretty much do anything, right? Triple H is in a sharpshooter with a torn quad, right? You know, Vince uh, Stone Cold gets paralyzed and, and you know, gets rolled up. Ugliest schoolboy in the history of the business on Owen Hart, right? You finish the match. That's what we were always taught. Well, dude, go to a boxing fight. The boxing fights end with guys being knocked out on their feet. They stop them early, okay? Sports and mindset ain't the same anymore, Okay? They want to protect you in your head and CTE, or at least they tell you they do. Right. In sports and football and basketball, baseball, wrestling, no different. In my mind, in my wherewithal, in my badassery of, of the alpha male locker room, I say, I'm going to go and finish a match unless you drag me out of the ring or it's on fire and you're still going to have to pull me out. And... I always, you know, but then again, the concussion, they stopped the match the, for you though. The concussion, they stopped the match for me, you know what I'm saying? Right. So then you go down to this day and age, bro, you tear an ACL and your cast, the referee wanted him to stop. The referee got the relay from the guys inside, stopped the match. Right? Cast rolled out of the ring and, and tore his ACL and was extremely upset about it and I, in my mind, said, Cass, fuck the ref, dude, let's finish. We're on live TV. And we didn't finish. We had a difference of opinion, but Cass tried to finish the match. I remember. With yep. his torn ACL. He tried. And then when it went again on him, he rolled out and they told him to stop it. In my mind, in that, dude, I'm adrenaline rushing in the ring, dude. The finish to the match. I'm jumping off the top rope, eating a boot onto a steel chair out of the air. Now, if you've ever seen a guy get it booted out of the air, you know how terrible that looks? Yeah. I'm willing to take that on the chair. I'm willing to have Big Cass throw me down the ramp, if you remember I did that. Had him gorilla press me and throw me down yep. the ramp. Nobody's ever done that. When I suggested it, Vince was like, are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, it's worth it, bro. Let's fucking do it. Uh, in my mind, in that moment, I'm like, I don't care if I have a torn ACL, I'm finishing the fucking match. This is the biggest blow-off in the year. Literally. 2017... Biggest raw uh, rating straw was me and Cass breaking up. And now we fast forward to SummerSlam. I'm going to 205 Live the next night. He's going his way. And we implement this on there. Uh, I thought to myself, dude, you could have walked out of, out of this arena a monster and came back in nine months and you would have made yourself. They would have never been scared to invest money in you. But then you got to think about it from his perspective. I tore my ACL. I just rolled out of this thing. And, you know, I don't know what's going on in his mind at that time because I'm not him. So I look at it in retrospect, and it was probably uh, the most masculine driven thing that I did in all my years and time in the WWE where I didn't take into account other people's feelings. Do you regret it going on Twitter and all?